Hey everybody, welcome back to, uh, They Are Billions. This is Colony Bravo, and just to clear up any confusion, uh, I've done some streaming of this game, and, uh, between last episode of Colony Bravo and this episode of Colony Bravo, I've played about 10 hours, maybe a bit more, of, uh, They Are Billions. So there's a lot of things, I'm looking at this now, I'm like, why did I do that? But, I think we can salvage it. There's a lot of things I would like to have done differently in here. Um, but we're gonna try to- we're gonna try to make things happen. We've got the stone workshop going, we have the wood workshop researching, we've got a warehouse up here for extra goodness. Uh, I'm looking at places that we want to expand. Uh, I'd like to wall this off and just clear this area out. I'm hoping that these guys can kind of clear a path to the north and we can lock this off. Or, depending on what's going on here, we'll have to kind of make a decision at that time. The nice thing is, we've got iron right outside these walls, which I should actually focus on trying to get. If I can spam out a few more soldiers, uh, and I'm actually going to put this here just so I can easily find them. Uh, I think we could actually take this down. We've taken this down in one of the, uh, one of the live stream... Uh, attempts. And I'm not gonna give you any spoilers about those, because I'm gonna put them on here. So if you see, like, Colony Charlie or Colony Delta, don't always assume that they didn't go well. You never know. Um, I'm just gonna, every time we start a new colony, win or lose, we're gonna add, uh, add the appropriate name. So, let's, um... What do we got? The problem is we're a little bit hindered by- we're a little bit hindered by workers right now. We're a little bit hindered by food. Um, I would like to get some farms up and going. So maybe that's the next thing to research. These lookout towers are also pretty good. Um, but I think we're just gonna have to go with what we- what we can right now. Farms would be nice. It'll- it'll help us with not having to worry about food for a while. Uh, the challenge is we don't have amazing spots for farms because I've built a bunch of houses in here. Uh, and a bunch of other things in here, like this warehouse. Terrible spot for the warehouse, but, uh, that's okay. We're gonna try and fix it, which sets us behind, but that's okay. Let's just do what we can do. That's all that anybody could ask, you know? That's all that anybody can ask. We're gonna wait for some resources to build up. Let's go to the west. These guys should be fine there. I see no problems. I don't think there's any other... Houses that we can upgrade right now uh, that said at the stone workshop we can research stone houses And then we could do that instead of expanding, but it's gonna slow us down a little bit I think maybe what we do is put some houses over on this side and Hope for the best um, in this dirt area um, We've got some fishing cottages at these lakes it's okay. I've got one here, one here, one's being built here. I'm gonna put another one right in the middle, I think, after this is done. That's probably why I did that. Because, you know, I'm- I think ahead all the time. I think ahead all the time. Just kidding. Not all the time. 20, 21, 21. These are pretty good. I don't think we're gonna be able to get two in here, so let's take the 21. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Now, can we wait long enough for extra workers? Hmm, not really. So I'm gonna have to build some houses out here. Um, it's just how it, it's gotta be. And then, or some, yeah, some cottages. And then we can upgrade them later on. I also have worked a lot on my spacing. Like, this is all very, very messy. And it's gonna make some of the other buildings that supplement these buildings um, tough to place because it's a bit of a cluster. So. That's okay. That's okay. I think we can clear out a decent chunk of this group if we're careful. And man, you know what? Is this... We've got stone wall like right here. I'm wondering if this is just a tiny little channel that we can, uh, that we can clear out. I gotta say, like, I'm straight up... I'm, I'm so hooked on this game and I'm like, I'm so hooked on this game. It's incredible. And... This is gonna- this is gonna go far, I think, this game. I'm excited for them. Alright, stone gates and stone walls are available. I think the next thing we research is... I think we go the stone house. These shocking towers? Oh, they're nice. They're very nice. Um... We're gonna have to- okay, once these are done, we'll be able to build some more power. So, let's get- let that gold build up a little bit. 
I'd like to get a market going so anytime that we go over, we automatically sell that back for gold, which is why I think expanding right now is going to be so important. And if we can just own this little area, that'd be, that'd be deadly. We might be able to wall this off if this curves around enough. And then we've got a quarry down here. We don't really need to go on to build a quarry there yet because our um, stone is actually maxing out. I also need trebuchets, or sorry, I call them trebuchets all the time, but what I actually need are, um, ballistas. Did I not research those? No, I did. We just need the energy. So, let's go. Let's get a mill. And this I'm just gonna have to put kind of wherever I can. And then, can I afford to build any more cottages after that? Uh, maybe. Is everything okay? Once the energy kicks in. Yeah, I think actually, this is gonna be alright on this side. This will give us some, some much needed space. Who's shooting up here? And why? Oh, I thought I heard stuff over there. Okay, while these guys are clearing down here, I'm gonna take one of the archers, or the rangers, and we're gonna go... We're gonna go cruising to try and find more stuff. I can kind of kite these guys around. Oh, we have two! Uh, we have two houses. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's the first time I've seen that, actually. So, that makes things... that kind of changes things a bit. That kind of changes things just a little bit. Um, the Great Ballista might be able to shoot at this at this building. It's gonna cause zombies to come running at us. But... I mean, it is what it is, right? And then what I need is, I'm going to need extra, extra towers out here to expand and be able to shut down this section. Which means I'm going to need to plant a babysitter here. I'll put two of these guys. And then I'm going to wall this off, I think. It's gonna be much closer to that, to that Tavern of Doom that I'd like, but if I can spam out a bunch of units, I think we could assault that in a decent manner. I think that we could. Plus, since this is all just crappy land anyways, we could spam a bunch of, uh, we could spam a, spam a bunch of cottages in here. So that's the game plan. Let's see how that works out in the next few minutes. Got to be very careful here. I've, uh, more times than I'd like to admit, I've lost soldiers because I've just kind of, like, let them do their thing. And I've got to be a lot more mindful of it. Okay, so we can actually afford to, to spend a lot of stone in these areas. Um, I'm going to do kind of a... An interesting approach here. I'm gonna like build this out this way like a like a peak instead of using the diagonal walls I find that the straight walls provide Better defense Are you guys cool here like Frick I hope so I hope so Okay, so I'm gonna go like Hmm, I'd like to get a little bit further. It's a bit greedy. It's a bit greedy, but...
I think we can do it. Uh, let's get some walls up here for now. Or some, uh, gates. And then... We have one trebuchet here. Is it actually attacking? No, it doesn't reach. But we eventually could push that out. Because there's a ton of iron here, that would be very valuable. I've actually built this next to iron as well. Um, something to consider. What's my, what's my main priority right now? I think... I actually think getting a bank up could be great, but the market might be even more important. 450 for the market. Um, I'm going to have to build a bunch of these stone walls here. Once I have those walls going, then I'm... Actually, you know what? Maybe we do this. Maybe we just build some cottages here now. Knowing that we're kind of like... We're kind of all in on this section. And this gate will at least let us pass through here. I'm thinking walling this might be kind of tough because they're just going to send endless amounts of zombies. Now, some people have said that these guys produce a finite amount of zombies. Some people have said that they just go an unlimited amount. So I'm not sure what's right. Oh my god, there's actually lots out here. Let's hold that. You guys seem cool there. That's great. Now, let's do walls. Straight up. I think we go... Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. And then defend this. Ah, uh, but if we can get the grass here... Maybe we can clear out this little... Oh, and there's, there's rock wall here, so... This could work, actually. This could work. Um, the scary thing is that... I don't have a ton of soldiers, but I'm actually... I feel like I'm not too far behind either. Once this hits, we're gonna get a bunch of extra workers. I'm gonna need to build a farm stat. And then that'll hold us over for food for quite some time. Um, this is honestly the only good place that we have right now until we get down here. So let's build food here for 48, seems to be the best. Let's do that. I wonder if the quarry can still fit. It can. And actually, we could chew a little bit into this. Um, but our stone production's actually really good right now. It's actually quite good. Um, by getting more of these guys, we're actually getting more gold too, but it's taking more food. So more colonists equals more gold, but... Um, there's definitely, definitely trade-offs. Is everything okay? Can we hold this with three soldiers right here? Getting a bit dicey. I think that should be fine. This is greedy of me trying to get this, I think. And I don't think we really need it, but I can't build walls through it. So I think I go like this. Man, let's... Let's see what's over here. What if this was- what if this is just a nice little alcove that we don't even have to build these walls? I'll feel a bit foolish. Just tell me what to do. Building completed. What's up? Any infected around? He can take a few hits. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Sounds interesting. Look at this. Uh... Any orders? Oh, here we go again. Great. Let's see. Nope, there are definitely zombies here. Definitely are zombies here. Let's bring a couple more down here. To our fresh new walls that they're... 
destroying. Great idea, sir. I don't want them to destroy this tower. I'm gonna lose him. Damn it. I'm gonna lose him. That's okay. Fuck, this thing hits hard! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't ha I can't have them take down another one. They're too strong. Okay, that sucked. For a lot of reasons. Let's repair everything. This included. Over here, save the walls, save the walls. Okay, that was extreme, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, can't do those walls now, so... Let's bring these guys back. We'll build, uh, temporary fortifications here. Uh, we are gonna do stone walls. Even if we gotta take them down, it's fine. Uh, we get 50% of the resources back, so you feel like it's not a total waste to have temporary walls, you know? I can't build more here until this one's repaired. Um, I feel like we've maxed out on our resources again. I could do the lookout tower, and I can do... I could do the power plant, that would be really nice, because we could build that. Um, and it will burn wood and stone, but since we're generating quite a bit, that would actually be alright. Uh, if we do the market, then we get, uh, bonuses to the food, or I guess a reduction to food, um, in the places around it. I can place it here, and that's actually not terrible. So if I'm looking on this side, we had it at one point. That's getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, we have a tent here that's not upgraded, too. Let's hit that. Uh, let's see that again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I go over here, we're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Or... Or I could bust down this quarry. If I break down this, if I break this quarry, I could build it on this other side, I think. Let's just double check that it would fit. It won't. It's too close to that building. A little too close. Oh, but that would be so good. You know what I could do? I could... I could also move this. So if I build another mill, and I say put it... here, for now. Whoops. That will replace this one. I can then ditch this. Oh boy. And I can... I can build that market there. And that's it in everything. And then we're getting giant reductions in the amount of food that's being used. I think that makes sense. I could also just relocate our quarry over here. Um... I say relocate, we're, we're breaking it down, right? But, so this is five, this is four, this is, oh, this is actually, you know what? Let's do that for now, just to get that production going again. And... I'd like to finish walling this off. These repairs, this is like the worst possible thing that can happen, is for them to destroy your towers. They take forever. They take forever to repair. Um, yeah, it's pretty insane, actually. 
Once this is done, though, we're going to see our food just skyrocket. The bank got finished, and then now these, this is just going to be absolutely massive. Uh, that's going to be huge for quite a long time. Okay, I'm still worried about the next defense, though, because we have enough to build a ballista, which is lovely. Um, I think we're probably okay. We'll just figure out where they're going to attack from and hopefully build it there. That's all we can really do. That's all we can do. I'd like to upgrade the walls. That, like, if there's coming from the north, then I'll, like, spam a bunch of upgrades there, but... Okay, this is done. Let's see if we can finish this wall. I'd like to maybe go out to there for now. Uh, let's just, let's be safe. We can always expand later. What do you want now? And then... This little section, like stuff like this, this really sucks. Oh, and we have this hunter's cottage out here. That's right, I think I remember that I was going to close this off, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I was. Yeah, I was. And if I don't, then we lose both of these. So, it's kind of like... Now or never, buddy. Now or never. Walled. You might as well go over here for now. I could do... Just a temporary thing here. Because if this is wild, like, what, you know, if they just run through there, what's the point, right? Do I want to build this right here? Uh, I hate to have these... Because, here's what's going to happen. I guess we have this one as, like, a backup. If we had, like, ballistas here that need power and they take out the th this, um, Tesla tower, then it's kind of moot, you know? But because we have the backup, it's actually okay. Alright, now, if we research the stone house next, we could upgrade our existing houses without having to build more. But, we have all this kind of dead, useless space over here. So I actually think that it might be okay for us to... to just build houses. And we'll take advantage of this small amount of iron here. Let's get repairs done on all the walls that need it. And I think we're going to need... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need cottages now. Okay, we're officially broke, but that's okay. This game, in my opinion, you kind of always want to be broke. Because if you're not, it means that you're not using your resources effectively enough. In my opinion. In my opinion. Where are the stone walls that need repairing? Can we get even closer? Okay. This is going to be done. I think in the interest of resources, we're going to have to clear this out. Uh, let's go like this. They're going to walk all the way around, but that's okay. So I don't want to break this down until we know that we can build the walls here. We're going to have to push these guys back a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh yeah, I am. Don't you worry. We also have a bunch of the stake traps that we're going to place. Yeah, this is a pretty big 
group up here, so... Maybe I should just wall this off straight across. Like so. Let's get these guys in. Oh, they can't fit yet. Come on in. Close that wall. And then... Ballista up here could be nice, actually. It's only wood and gold and energy. So... Well, I mean, and the workers, of course. Is this spot good? I think this spot's decent. We delete this. Ballista here. And then if we can get at least a ballista at each wall, that might be pretty good. We're going to want a double wall for sure. Uh, but for now, it's a decent, decent start. Okay, so let's let the money roll in a bit. Then we're going to do... Um, okay, here we go. From the north. Could very well be here. Could very well be here. Uh, at our next gold delivery, I can start another ballista. But it could definitely come from either side here. So... Let's consider for a moment. I want to make sure that all of our sawmills are on. I'm going to actually need a sawmill here. I don't even know if we can get one there, but... If they come through this side, am I concerned? Yeah. Yeah, I am. If I come through this side, I'm probably more concerned, I think. Because we now don't have, like, all of the wood that we would need. Uh, I'm going to delete this so people can get through. And if they get through there... Then, well, we could fall back to these towers. Walls cannot be so close. Let's go, wood. Let's go, wood. I don't have any towers over here, but that's fine. If they all come over here, no problem. We'll send all these guys. The extra range would be nice, but not totally necessary. I don't think this can fit. We have no energy in that area. So let's just double wall that section. Looks like they're coming left, of course. So let's get, uh, we'll get a tower up at the next gold delivery. They could come down here, which would, that would actually be, that would actually be worst case scenario. I'm going to delete these walls. So we can run through if necessary. Uh-oh. I'm concerned. Consider me concerned, guys. Next- oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay? Let's, uh... Go trebuchet. 
and tower. So we've got the appropriate forces there. Let's see. Is there anybody else? Look, I've got this random soldier here. Let's go over here. I've got five down here, apparently. Uh, I had one over here. You don't need to be in this tower. Head on up. Keep one down here with the ballista. I've called these I call these things trebuchets all the time. It's not intentional. It's just I don't know why. I don't know why I call them that. Okay, they may actually end up going this way. They may. Yep, I think they are. So I'm gonna have uh, a couple archers sit here. The other guys come back. Go north. Yeah, here they come. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Put these guys in the tower with one archer. I think we can hold. I think we can hold. This might break, and that's okay. It might not even break. <sighs> Whee! Okay. Day 25. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, the trebuchet- or the- <laughs> the trebuchets. Fuck! The ballistas, um... Should be okay for a while. They should be okay. Um... What's hurting us right now? We need more colonists. Look at the food now because of the reduction that all of these need. And when we upgrade these, like, the amount that we're saving on food is actually even better. So, I think that's en enticement enough to get into stone houses. Uh, the biggest thing now is to get more of the... Um, more of the resources farmed up. So more more uh, quarries, and we need to find more iron. We have some just outside here. That's easy enough. We have some right here. That's easy enough. I I think we could. How many soldiers do we have up here? We have quite a few. We might be able to make an assault on this place, although it's pretty big. Uh, I don't love that, but. It could be a heck of a lot worse. I'm gonna delete this now, too. Um... I know these are like secondary fallback walls. But I think we could use this for other stuff. You know, like... Fortify our outer walls more with and get rid of the stuff that we don't really need. Um... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's unload these guys. I think if we leave two archers in the tower and the trebuchet, should be fine. Let's go down here and let's consider building stone gates here. Here, let's, um, we'll manu manually remove them because sometimes they don't like when we do this. See, like, walls cannot be so close. It's so weird why it does that, but it does. And the cool thing is, is because we have a trebuchet so close, or <laughs> ballista... Because we have a ballista, 
Ballista, ballista, ballista, ballista, ballista, ballista. Because we have a ballista so close, if things get hairy, we can pull back. Um, so that's not the end of the world. You know? Woodwork shop's fully researched. Um, we could build a few more cottages out here if we wanted. This junk pile, I hate, I hate. I hate. This land is kind of useless here, so I'm just trying to build, use that for houses with a mountain view. Good for them, you know? Okay, here we go. I'm going to tell you what to do. Let's hold. Nice thing is, even from this location, I think the ballista can hit. I'm gonna try and clear this. I'm gonna try and clear this. And I think we can. The buildings, look, they actually don't have a ton of health. Stone houses are donezo. This is cool. Uh, the next thing I wanna research is the power plant. I wanna get that up, and I just wanna, like, have power forever kind of thing um, so hold on I need okay I need more power to upgrade these to get more colonists so I don't have a choice I need to shut something down temporarily maybe one of our sawmills. This is doing 11. This is doing 13. I just need to pause this temporarily so that we can get... Oh, that's not even enough. Yikes. Ah, uh, but that gives us workers, so that lets us build another mill in the meantime. Uh, where can I just shove this thing for now? Let's continue the attack on the dwelling of doom next time. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, uh wish me luck. I think this colony is going okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, there's a lot of things I would have done differently had we started off, um, had I known what I know now when I started this. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you're enjoying, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.